Hello, my name is Kim McCullough, and I'm going to share with you a brief overview of some of the materials that are provided in the LEAP program that was created by myself and my co-author, Dr. Katherine Bayless. LEAP is an evidence-based and clinician-ready cognitive stimulation program designed to strengthen cognitive processing, communication function, and cognitive reserve in adults. The LEAP program is made up of over 200 cognitive and linguistic stimulation activities, 10 science-based wellness education guides, and a variety of clinician-ready and client-ready forms. Let's take a look. Here is a sample of how the LEAP sessions can be structured. This sample, as well as the instructions for each segment of the session, are included in the clinician manual that is provided within the program. LEAP is flexible as to length. Ten 90-minute weekly sessions are recommended for group training. Research results show that significant learning occurs in this time frame. However, program length depends on clients' needs and clinician judgment. Each LEAP session ends with a relaxation exercise and a progressive relaxation script is provided. The LEAP program includes three forms that clinicians can use to identify intervention areas and help clients set goals. Let's take a look at some of the forms. The Knowledge and Use of Strategies and Practices form shown here can be used both pre and post-program to gain information about the client's knowledge and use of practices that support cognitive performance and physical wellness. And it can also be used to document any increase in this knowledge or use as a result of participating in the program. This form, the Memory, Communication, and Wellness Concerns form, can also be used pre- and post-program to identify areas that the client is most concerned about so that intervention can be directed to areas that are tailored to the client's needs. The goal selection form is provided so clients can formulate their goals and select strategies for goal attainment. An important aspect of this program is that participants are actively engaged in goal setting and the use of strategies that promote cognitive health, socialization, and physical fitness that have long-term benefits. Many clients appreciate having a paper copy, something in their hands, of the materials used within the LEAP program. And although it's not required, clinicians can easily create a program notebook. Copies of the notebook can easily be made and distributed at the first sessions. Clients use these notebooks to record adherence to wellness practices, strategy use, and homework completion, as well as for information they want to recall from sessions. Clinicians can also review, review client entries to monitor client progress. The form shown here is a list of cognitive performance strategies and wellness practices. Clients can use this list, or menu so to speak, to determine which strategies are most helpful to them. A session takeaway form can also be included within the client notebook. Clients like to take notes within the session and they can use this form to write down their individualized home challenge. This form is the Cognitive Performance Strategies and Wellness Practices Use Form. Clients can track the frequency of daily and weekly use of selected strategies. Again, clinicians can use this form to monitor progress. And the Goal Attainment Form can be used to reflect and monitor strategy and practice use each session. A client record and progress summary form is also included. 
This form enables clinicians and researchers to have a record of client characteristics, test performance results, and therapy goals and progress. The session planning section of this form allows clinicians to plan the sequence of activities and stimulation materials to be used each session. The beauty of this program is that all of the LEAP forms can be modified for the needs of clinicians or researchers. As mentioned previously, the LEAP program includes over 200 cognitive linguistic stimulation activities. The four domains included are language, executive functions, attention and memory, and perception and social cognition. These activities can vary in difficulty and can be matched to the skill level of clients. Additionally, most activities can be modified for either group or individual work. Let's take a closer look at the activities included within each domain. The language domain is divided into three sections or books. These include comprehension and expression, reading and writing, and a separate book that is appropriate for those with aphasia. The attention and memory domain is also divided into three books that include a variety of activities addressing orientation, attention, and memory. One way I like to use these activities and the activities from all four of the domains is to bundle or stack the strategies that each of the clients have selected with the cognitive stimulation activities we're working on so that clients are working not only to improve their use of strategies, but they have an opportunity to use those strategies within the session. Feedback from other participants as well as the clinician is helpful for this process. The executive functions domain is divided into two books that include a variety of activities addressing problem solving, reasoning, and associating. I have found these activities to be especially fun and challenging when working in small groups with clients that have mild cognitive impairment. The last domain is perception and social cognition. It is divided into two books. The activities included in this domain are especially appropriate for clients with right hemisphere disorder or traumatic brain injury. This concludes a brief overview of the LEAP program. It's never too early or too late to address cognitive performance and wellness. Speech language pathologists, occupational therapists, and other healthcare professionals need therapeutic programs that build or maintain cognitive reserve, and LEAP is designed to do just this. What are you waiting for? Take the LEAP!